Hi everyone and welcome back to the Wisdom Series. I am Dr. Jordan and um, I just want to say Happy New Year. This is officially um, my first video um, for 2023 and um, I just wanted to come on camera very impromptu, um, very short to share what God has just dropped in my spirit right now and um, it's one of those videos where um, it's quick straight to the point um, I don't have a great bunch of production going on uh, just talking from my heart from one person to the next and um, I you know I, I as I was you know just sitting here just thinking about this place called waiting you know, many of us can identify with waiting. We're waiting for something new. We're waiting for someone. We're waiting for a breakthrough. Uh, we're waiting for an answered prayer. Or we're just waiting for a transition to um, run its course. And so um, regardless of any person's demographic, we're all going to come to this place in our lifetime um, that is called a place called waiting. And, you know, I just did a quick search and, like, what, what does it mean to wait? Because, you know, we have our, our um, own lived experiences and, and created definitions on waiting. And just if you just Google um, what it means to wait or the process of waiting, it's literally an action. It's, an, it's not a passive word. It's not a passive place. It's not a space or place of dormancy. It's literally an active space in our life. And the process of waiting, it really means an action of staying in place or position um, while we while we are expecting something to happen. So a couple of things in this very simple um, definition about waiting. It's an active place. It's literally moving. So you know, contrary to our beliefs when it comes to waiting, that it's passive, it's still, it's dormant, it's unproductive. Ah, uh, no, actually waiting requires our participation and so i was just saying god wow you know a lot of us wrestle with the season of waiting because we believe that nothing is happening or we presume that we are being unproductive when we're waiting but in reality especially when we're looking at it from god's eye our waiting is really our demonstration of obedience our active demonstration of obedience to him and our lived out trust in his sovereignty and so I just want to tell us this tell us when I say us I mean I'm telling you but I'm also telling myself that um, when we are um, dwelling or sojourning I should say or passing through this town called waiting or this place called waiting know that we are not dormant that we are not unproductive but rather we are living an active a lifestyle of obedience and demonstrating that lifestyle through a path of trusting in God. You know, waiting also requires um, a holistic view in that it requires our mind, our body, and even our environment to come into alignment. A lot of times when we feel the, the push and the pull in this place called waiting is that because we have not come into full alignment, our being, our personhood has not come into full alignment with the place it's like we're having one foot in the place called waiting and a foot that is some place that has no name or destination or locality and so i i came you know to this understanding as i was just talking with the holy spirit that waiting requires our mind our mind to be in this place that of acceptance that i am waiting but i'm still my mind is still very much active and producing thoughts it's producing ideas and it's producing um the the these ideologies that speaks to not just my waiting season but my season that is coming after and so my mind that's what the bible say i will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed and so waiting requires us to stay in our mind expecting God to do what he needs to do in our mind and perfect that peace in our mind while we wait. Um, you know, waiting also requires our body to come into full alignment with our mind in this place called waiting. And so while we are waiting, we're not just sitting, we're not just, you know, just allowing dust to form around us. No, we're actually active. And so waiting requires us not just to 
be so tunnel vision on what we're waiting for, but also to be active in those things that are still moving and operating in our lives and to be very much in tune with those things and fully participatory within those things. So while I'm waiting, I'm still exercising, I'm still eating right, I'm still volunteering, I'm still showing up in those areas that do not require me to wait. And so not because I'm waiting for um, one particular area, whether a job, a, a, a transition, a, a move, whatever, that means that every other part of my body is supposed to be in standstill, right? Waiting also requires our environment to align to our body and our body aligns to our mind. And our environment really speaks to our our, our interpersonal um, relationships. Our environment speaks to what production is happening in our lives even while we wait because we're still producing we're producing life every moment every day that we're breathing we're producing relationships we're producing experiences and so while we're waiting our environment still requires production whether it's showing up for our children whether it's being present at school or just being a very good store to the things that god has placed in our hands and so our environment still requires our production, even while we're waiting for one particular thing or the other. And so while we produce in our environment, it's literally building a sense of efficacy in us. And efficacy is that sense of confidence in producing or performing a particular task. And while we are increasing our efficacy, we're also building all of those uh, environmental pillars that we're going to need in our next season after the wait has come to an end. I just want to encourage you, believe with me today that your mind, your body, and your environment will come in alignment during in this place called waiting. And more than that, know that waiting is not forever. It is not just a, a permanent place that we're going to just pitch our tent. No, waiting is just a, a pit stop. Yeah, it's just a pit stop for some of us. And that pit stop may take us days, months, years. I don't know what it may be for you, but I know it's not forever. And so we can relieve ourselves from some of these anxieties and stress that we we kind of, you know, garner while we are combating the waiting season. But if we allow our mind, our body, and our environment to trust God, to believe God, that this waiting season is not my permanent place. It is just a passing through it is just a pit stop and what God has for you and I after this after we have left this place called waiting it will be worth it so be encouraged today and remember God loves you this is the wisdom series I am Dr. Jordan and have a blessed and wonderful day